Everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Sagittarius. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you guys. Let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? In case this reading resonates with you guys, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Let's see what messages will show up for you, Sagittarius. If you would like to book a reading with me, the link to that will be in the description box below. And as well as your yearly predictions will be linked in the description box below. So let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? We have Jupiter energy, your confidence, courage, and self-belief. Okay. Let's see what more do we have for you. The moon card, your unconscious, sensitive, and inner emotions and your responses. Clouds and house. Um, so for a lot of you, what I see here is that right now you could be going through some, some form, uh, some form of confusion in your life. Okay. Um, for some of you, it could also be like you're, some of you are thinking about selling your home maybe, or buying a new home. There's something here about your house that's showing up. Maybe you're looking to change your home. Okay. Um, now for a lot of you, I feel like Sagittarius, this is a time for you to make a decision and take that leap of faith forward towards something. And it is going to require courage from your end to do so. Okay. But with the moon card, you know, the moon card talks about also getting in touch with your feelings. Okay. So I'm going to read for you clouds and the house. Number eight and number 17 are showing up here for you. Let's see. Uh, your house is a safe haven. You are protected and loved. You have received this card as the universe wants you to know you will have stability and protection within your home. The psychic reading card of the house can represent a number of different meanings. Focus on the explanation that is best for you. First of all, the house card can relate to the family, to the feelings and for feelings of security and safety in your family, filling your house with love, light and laughter. If you're currently experiencing relationship issues and or a possibility of a separation, divorce or a breakup, this card will relate to your fears of losing the home or feeling of wanting to move and get away from your current situation. The house card can also be related to the sale and purchase of a new home. It could also be about deciding to build, renovate, or move from your current home. This could be also connected to real estate. This relates to creating a property portfolio or wealth through buying or selling. So there could be something related to a home that's taking place. Now, for some of you, I also feel like you could be missing your home. Um, you know, where you grew up, maybe, okay? Um, a home that you have emotional attachment to. You could be missing your family back home, maybe. Um, okay, let's see. What's the clouds energy? It's interesting to see these energies show up for you. I haven't really done a reading like this in a long time. The energies are very different today. Uh, look up and see the beauty above you. You have received this card as the universe is trying to get your attention in the form of messages in the clouds. The sky is nature's natural canvas where the universe creates beautiful and colorful paintings at all times with fluffy cloud formations. So I feel like this is also a sign. Clouds are a sign to give you, sorry, clouds give you a sign that are, of spirit guides that are close to you. I'm sorry, I read that completely backwards. You may even be blessed with the image of a loved one's face if you stare back, stare at the clouds and the face may be staring back at you from the clouds above. It can also represent a state of mind you are currently experiencing, so pay attention. To me, more than anything else, this is talking about confusion that you're going through in your life, okay? Because birds are messengers, Sagittarius, there is something here that's telling you to take that leap of faith forward. The cloud energy can also be confusion. And I feel like this is confusion in your case because 
it, it's with the Jupiter energy. So what are you confused about? What is something you're hesitating to move towards? Because to me, it's looking like if you take that leap of faith forward, you will find good stuff. Okay. Let's see. I feel like in the next few weeks, someone is also going to express their feelings for you. You may be dealing with an Aries. Um, tell me about the Five of Cups, King of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are going through an emotional turmoil at the present moment and it could be it could be connected to a person you love or you loved but this is someone who has disappointed you Sagittarius okay your challenge is the six of cups advice is the eight of wands bottom of the deck is the hermit so right now you're going through this energy of um, thinking and re-evaluating things in your life. There's also emotional disappointment that I see here for you. Um, connected to a person. Okay, some of you may also be frustrated about your finances. Okay, but moving forward, I feel like things are looking a lot better for you. The sun card here is an indication of positivity and good energies that are, you know, coming to you. Um, Leo energy, Gemini energy, and Aries energy is significant in the reading. I also feel like with the lover's card, I swear, what is up with the lover's card? Every single sign almost has gotten the lover's card in, in these set of readings. Um, and the lover's card can talk about choices. It can talk about love, but it can also talk about choices. Um, with the two of swords to the lovers, uh, what is it? What is something Sagittarius that is confusing you? What is something that you feel like um, you cannot seem to think your way out of? Okay, uh, because moving forward, it is crucial for you to have a clear mindset. Because with the Jupiter energy, there's a lot of expansion and good luck that you're surrounded by. You know, Jupiter energy is all about when the time is good for you. Okay. So are you going to let your distractions get in the way or are you going to really do what is needed? Whether that be something personal to you or professional or in your relationships. Okay. Um, One thing I'm getting here is that if you have a business or you do your own thing, I see that progressing as well. But when it comes to your finances or something like that, there's also a need for you to step outside your comfort zone and perhaps even try something new. Page of Swords to the Hangman. There could be someone who's spying on you, watching you. Uh, I think Sagittarius, you're, you are open to love, but at the same time, because you've been disappointed in love, you're not, it's like there's a sense of hesitation in your energy to open up to love, okay? Because what I'm seeing here is that you're finding your own happiness, um, you're trying to make things better for yourself, and... With the Nine of Cups energy, this is like, okay, I'm going to do things that are good for me. I'm going to focus my energy on stuff that serves me, that helps me grow as a person. Um, so that's what this is talking about. If you feel the need to take some time off for yourself, do it. Some of you maybe love to light up candles and, you know, just chill and relax. I see that energy here too. You know, the strength card here is talking about strength of character. Ooh. 
Wow. What's interesting is that you have six of cups and the eight of wands for your challenge and advice. Your challenge here is someone from the past. Your challenge here has something to do with a past situation or with a past person. Okay. You know, your advice here has something to do with going with the flow. With the Eight of Wands energy, I feel like someone is going to show up in your life to try to clarify things with you or make things better with you. Um, and to make things better with them or not is your choice. Okay. However, this is definitely telling you to go with the flow. Eight of Wands can also talk about forward movement and things in your life just generally picking up momentum. Stuff that was previously stuck, you know, you, you feel like, okay, things are moving forward in my life in a positive direction. But with the Jupiter in the clouds card, a lot of what you're going through and a lot of what you're manifesting has something to do with um, how much of this um, faith and confidence you have to do something different if, if that is what is required because it's like for example we're taking this path right and we have to choose another path not everybody has the guts and the courage to do that but i feel like sagittarius is the perfect sign who can do that <laughs> okay um because you guys are naturally like that someone from the past is your challenge or some thoughts of the past are your challenge. You remember when I started your reading, I told you you could be missing someone or you could be missing your home where you used to live, okay? So, let's see. Let's see who's coming towards you in love. Four of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Whoever's coming towards you, they could have Capricorn or Aquarius placements, maybe even Leo or Gemini. So I'm getting Leo, Gemini, Capricorn, Aquarius, okay, and Aries as well. So for a lot of you, what I'm seeing here is that Sagittarius, there is someone who's thinking of you. But I feel like they're holding a grudge against you. Okay. Some of you may have blocked this person or you're not communicating with them. Okay. I just feel like this is a person who's not in your life. They think about you, but there is like this energy of resistance and, you know, someone just trying to deliberately ignore you. You have four, four here. So number four could be of significance. Um, wow, this is strange. For some of you, you and this person could be thinking of one another at the same time. You could be thinking of each other at the same time. Let's see. So Sagittarius, um, your person's feelings for you, their view of you, where is it going? actions they plan on taking and your advice your new person if you have a new person who are they do you know them or not and where is it going also if you don't have a new person take it as a prediction um so your energy for your love messages is finding out the finding out truth crushed me and you and i were too young there is someone you've known for a long long time that person is showing up in the energy Okay, uh, but there's separation. However, this person is not a primary focus on your of your life because you're trying to move on. And I can clear, clearly see that you're trying to be an independent thinker. Okay, now let's see what's showing up in your finances. I am going to continue the reading in your extended and see what are the energies for your past person, new person. What do you need to know? What are your blessings and challenges for general portion? So do have a look at it. It will be linked below for you. 
let's see what messages will show up for you when it comes to your finances what messages for Sagittarius You need to be aware of someone. Be careful of who you're talking to about your finances. Don't make any type of financial commitments. Uh, real estate. Again, um, for some of you, if you're closing a deal or thinking about getting a home or something, you see the home card is coming twice for you. Uh, be careful. Um, of course, this is not something small. Um, so yeah, before you make a deal... Be careful for those of you who will. Now, please don't leave a comment that I don't have money to buy a home and this, that, and the other. Okay. <laughs> um, this card also says considering a career in real estate, it's time to go back to the basics. Whatever your financial situation is, you need to be careful of who you share your ideas with, who you share your information with. You also have leadership. It is time to step into a leadership position. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your part. Let's see. Change. I really feel like for a lot of you, you could be um, changing your job or your career situation. Maybe you're looking to um, expand your business, start a side hustle, or maybe just change your career path overall. Um, I'm hearing the odds are in your favor. The odds are in your favor? That's strange. So for now, the message for you, Sagittarius, is that the odds are in your favor. Just because you don't see any movement, it doesn't mean that nothing is happening. Um, wow. Sometimes to see the change, you must be the change. And there's a change for the better. So for a lot of you, I feel like you are going to be changing something when it comes to your finances or your career situation, Sagittarius. And trust me, you don't need to take advice from other people. This is a time for you to do what you've always wanted to do. You need to take, you know you know, the step forward towards what you want to change, okay? Anyway, that's about it. This reading was very interesting. I will continue the reading in the extended and see what's up with you and your finances and your love life and your blessings and challenges. So do have a look if you're interested. If not, thank you so much for being here. Leave a like and I'll see you guys next time.